Hey everybody and welcome to Pignit. My name is Jessie. If you are not familiar with my channel, pleased to meet you. Today, I'm drawing a strawberry shortcake. This was actually requested by a lovely subscriber. So I decided to do this strawberry shortcake, but then I was also thinking about the character strawberry shortcake and I was thinking it might be fun to try to draw her too. So if you're interested, I might do it. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comment section if you would be interested in seeing me draw Strawberry Shortcake. I never actually watched the show. I think I may have seen one or two episodes. Um, even though I am well into my 20s, I still actually really enjoy watching little kid shows because they're a perfect thing to watch when you're working and you just want something on his background because they're so happy. It's kind of like when you were little and you'd get sick so you'd go to your grandma's house or something and the only thing that would be on at that time of day was Nick Jr. so you just watch shows that are meant for preschoolers and it was just like, it was, it's just so happy and comforting. As some of you may already know, I did go to school for animation so originally my plan was to go work on things like children's TV shows and I still would love to do that. I think what I would like to do the most is either character design or doing illustrations for like for a set or something like the inside of the character's house and like being able to design the color schemes and stuff. I think that would be so much fun. Even just like an app, like a children's app. If I could help out with some of the illustrations with that, I'd be good with that. That'd be fun. But I was thinking either I would draw a strawberry shortcake, the character, or I might make up my own character based on one of my favorite foods. But then I realized that I don't know what my favorite foods are. So I decided to consult my husband Justin. I'm like, what's my favorite food? Because his are pretty obvious, like I could I could rattle his off. But for mine, I don't know. So he's like, your favorite food is a bowl of fruit. And it's like, it's kind of true. I really like bowls of fruit. I'm kind of lame. I, I really like craisins, but I'm not gonna make I'm not gonna make a craisin character. So then I was like, maybe chips and salsa, that's something that I really like. But then chips and salsa doesn't sound like one person, that sounds like two people that would share a house maybe, so let me know. And if you have any other ideas, now that my subscribers are slowly growing, let me know in the comment section below if you have any requests or ideas for things that I could draw because it's a very common thing for us creative peoples to not be able to think of ideas for what to draw, so let me know and I'll write it down. I'm still completely blown away by, this is just going to be kind of a quick video, I think it's like about five and a half minutes, maybe six by the time I'm done, but I'm still blown away by how Pokemon is doing that video that I did um, two videos ago now. Almost at 8,000 views, I'm really shocked by that, like thank you so much if you are here from the Pokemon video and you're a new subscriber. Welcome to my channel, I hope that you like what you've seen so far, I hope that you'll stick with me for a long time and give me ideas for what to draw and feel inspired maybe. Originally I had set like milestones for myself and the very first one was 10 subscribers. <laughs> You know, that's you know, that's how I roll. I gotta it's baby steps. It's all about baby steps Okay, when you have zero subscribers, you can't wait until you have 10. Let me tell ya So my first was 10 and then it was 25 and then 50 and then 100 and then I hit 100 and then I quickly jumped to 200 and then My next one was supposed to be 250, but I'm as I'm currently recording this. I'm almost at 325 so I'm like I'm, I kind of missed my other milestone. So my next one after that is 500 subscribers, and when I hit 500, what I think I'm going to do is buy a microphone specifically for these voiceovers because currently my phone is set up standing upside down on my desk, and that's what I use. And that's why I sound like I'm in a toilet. Once I hit 500 subscribers, which might come sooner than I thought, I thought I didn't think I was going to get 500 until, I, I don't know, well after Christmas this year, so I'm... I'm kind of shocked. Maybe it might even be next month, who knows. Um, I'm gonna buy a new microphone and then when I hit a thousand subscribers that'll be my next milestone and I'm not sure what I'll do then but maybe something like a Q&A or a giveaway. I'll probably talk about it closer to that point and, and ask you guys what you'd be interested in. But that's about it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did in fact enjoy this video go ahead and let me know by giving it a thumbs up. 
Subscribe if you want to see more. Comment below if you have any ideas for something that you'd like to draw or if you just want to say hi. It'd be nice to hear from you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. I wanted to show you guys real quick. Look at the difference between these two. So this one was the first one that I drew as a reference for the other ones as like a practice. And look how much better this one is. No matter how many times I tried, I just couldn't get it to turn out as good as the very first one. Isn't that just so typical? I will actually probably use that first one in the thumbnail or something. If you recognize it, that's where it's from. Wreck-It Ralph is one of my favorite recent Disney movies. If you haven't seen it before, go rent it. Do people still rent things? How do you even watch things? Go find some way to watch it because it's worth it.